We know that bourbon is a big part of Louisville's tourism industry. You can check out a number of distilleries all within walking distance of each other if you head downtown. So this year, Moonshine University is laying out the top spirit trends for 2021. Rose, you gave us a preview at uh, the 6 o'clock hour. Now you're inside. So what do you got for us? Yeah, so we are excited to check out some of these 2021 trends. 2020 was a tough year for distilleries. A lot turned to making hand sanitizer to really help out that shortage. But we're back with spirits, and we have this morning Kevin Hall with Moonshine University here to tell us about some of those trends. So what are some of the things that we can expect to see here now moving into 2021 in the spirit industry? Yeah, so uh, it's, like I said, been a strange year. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully going to be light at the end of the tunnel here. But um, yeah, so people have been kind of stuck at home, and so they're you know looking for some unique, authentic things that they can do that are maybe different than they used to. So right. that may be, you know, that they used to do shots of tequila in college, but then they find <laughs> out, oh, you know, George Clooney bought this, you know, sold this thing for a billion dollars. So <laughs> so they find out, oh, there's really like actually good tequila, right? Or something Mezcal else. Or something. So they explore some different kind of things and premium products, um, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's they're moving in that direction. So premium trends. We're also looking at some more um, kind of smaller local distilleries trying their own thing, kind of getting that regional aspect in there as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, we, here at Moonshine University, we have people coming from all over the world to take classes to learn to open and operate distilleries. So they're popping up everywhere. It's a global thing. So, uh, and they want to own their own backyard. They want to differentiate themselves from each other. So there's a lot of different uh, styles of spirits that are being made and that are very unique and so people are out and they're exploring that and I'm going to check that out. Well we have some, um, we're going to do a demonstration, yeah. I'm not <laughs> sure what we have right here but Kevin's going to tell us so um, tell us what we've got here and uh, what it what it is. Okay so uh, you know Kentucky's the home of bourbon obviously of we're very course. proud of that Yes. Uh, but there's pe people that are, it could be made anywhere in the United States so mm -hmm. there's different uh, styles being made uh, around the country. So this is uh, Strain of Hands. It's a very popular whiskey in Colorado. Okay. Uh, it's in the mountains. So it's kind of got its own style to it. It's a higher elevation, cooler climate, so it ages differently. Um, this is Balcones, which is a very popular Texas bourbon. Uh, there's a lot of bourbon being made in Texas these days. Uh, it's delicious. And then this is, uh, you know, Kentucky has all our wonderful heritage distillers that everybody knows that's been here for generations. Right. And they're fantastic. But we also have a lot of really great smaller craft distilleries mm -hmm. that, are, that are wonderful. This is uh, Johnny Drum that's made in Willet down in Barstown. Oh. Uh, really great product. Um, and, you know, if you haven't had a chance to check them out, go uh, hop in the car, head down to Barstown, give it a try. Um, it's really good stuff. And I think that's so interesting that kind of depending on the climate and depending on where you are, it also changes how it's made and how it tastes too. Yeah, so bourbon is really, um, you know, there's pretty tight regulations on what it has to be. Um, but depending on how it's aged, uh, it makes a big difference. Um, so like I said, Texas is really hot, so it's more, you know, a little bold. Right. Kentucky, we have all four seasons really. So it's a it's its own unique thing. And then like I said, Colorado cooler temperature. Higher elevation, ages, exactly. slower. Well, thank you so much, Kevin. So that's what we have look, to look forward to in the spirit industry in 2021. So whether you're making something at home or going out, try out some of, the, some of these things. Rob? All right, Rose. Thanks. Appreciate it.